Okay. Um, are you managing with the screen sharing? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm just going to share the screen. Okay, great. Mm. And I mean, I, I'll also need to switch to, I would say, um, the browser tabs and coming back to the presentation. So I'll prefer to share the full screen. Okay, that's, that's perfect. Yeah. That's even better, I think. Yeah, it depends. Are you using a PC, a Windows? I, I'm, I'm using oh. a laptop. A laptop, yeah, but is it a Mac? No. Yeah, yeah it's a Mac. Oh, great. That's why you can move the screen. I'm just going to say, if you're using a Mac, you can move the screens. If you're using a PC, it's problematic. So, yeah. Yeah, my presentation from my side has gone to the screen, but I'm yet to make it full screen. Okay. And I'll switch on the camera as well. Right. All right. So I see you using Microsoft on your Mac. Yes. <laughs> uh, that's very tough to move away, I would say. Like using okay. Chrome, using PowerPoint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I use Google Slides. But okay, I just wanted to say that uh, you won't have any problems. Uh, but people who, I don't know why Microsoft uh, poses problems for Microsoft users when they use a PowerPoint on Zoom. So you're not going to have any problems. Um, I hope. No, no. Well, as far as I know, it's, it's okay. Yes. On the okay. Uh, so side by side. So we see you just need to turn on your camera. Uh, I'm just doing it. I'll just come up. Yes. It's the evening time here. Can't see if. Yes, from my side it is. There's some reflection, so I'll move the glasses. I hope it's visible. Fine. You got two minutes, so you can yeah um, do whatever you need to do. Yes, I yeah, hope Dr. Sharma well. has also joined, so I'll confirm from him the view of the presentation and the voice yeah. quality as well. Uh, yes, but when you are hi, sir. It. Hi. Oh, I didn't know. I forgot that you knew each other. Oh, right. <laughs> now I realize they just dawned on me. It's because okay. of him that I know oh, that right. CEO is there oh, and yeah. I got into it. <laughs> so he oh, being there, oh, I'm oh. safe. <laughs> right. I, mean, I, can, I can introduce him. <laughs> <laughs> that, would be, that would be wonderful. I love that. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'll just tell you when. Yes, sure. <laughs> That's great. <clears throat> All right, so welcome everyone. Welcome to day two of Connecting Online for 2023. This is our 14th annual event. And we've got an amazing lineup. You've had two so far. We're going to continue. Our presenter is going to be introduced by Dr. Ramesh Sharma. <laughs> Thank you, Nelly. Good morning, friends. And uh, those who are in India, it is <laughs> good evening for them. I'm very happy to introduce uh, my good friend, uh, Dr. Parveen Sharma. He was uh, with us in India here for a very long time. Currently, he is teaching at MIT University in Tashkent, uh, the capital of Uzbekistan. He's a wonderful person uh, uh, from both fronts, uh, academic as well as being a human, uh, you know, wonderful human uh, <clears throat> friend for us. Uh, his specialization into English language teaching and not only that, uh, uh, you all will be uh, very happy to know that uh, he is a national awardee for his podcasts. And uh, he has been uh, into training the students as well and uh, then motivating them to take it forward. So he is having a big army of uh, students working along with him on creating so many open educational resources uh, in various formats. 
and uh, <clears throat> he and me were the first one in india to offer an online course on podcasts in education and since then he has been uh, busy creating uh, those uh, podcasts and uh, the other kind of uh, uh, e content uh, the one of the achievements of his that uh, we have a good friend uh, uh, a professor steve mccarty in japan and once we were talking to him he became so much interested so that uh, uh, in the podcasting and then uh, we we uh, started the japan casting uh, as the podcasts to share the uh, knowledge about the cultures and traditions and education in there so i uh, i think uh, parveen is going to uh, speak on those things yes. so thank you parveen and thank you for being there over to you thank you sir thank you very much so i will not get into any i would say um, animations of voices or something uh, but uh, professor sharma and dr neeli both of you are known to me of course because of everything that you have done but i keep two words for connecting online for you and for sharma ji and for everyone who's present in this picture on the screen and the previous a decade long thing that you have done uh, connecting online or the purpose of uh, coming up and talking to you all getting introduced and i'm proud of it that i'm getting introduced and this is not something uh, that i would say no this is not true it's just because that your teachers make you so and your students make you so so um, and i do have something from yesterday which will be coming up in my slide when uh, professor sharma said that i have got a strong army of students and uh, that army or that uh, that force or that team of students is actually justifying something that professor nelly yesterday uh, like uh, it was placed in a talk like i got to see it and then i mean there was a question and there was an answer so that is one thing uh, th there are two words from my side to everyone who has been associated with the connecting online event in the, in this decade consistency and commitment these two things have been the prime feature and maybe these two things uh, make all of us uh, alive uh, relevant impactful and as well as satisfied i mean that is the last word but it comes as the first thing you you start doing anything in technology in innovation you start doing even something in the kitchen the, the satisfaction that you get with everything that you have in hand and it should be handy i mean i've got my specs over here the airpods on this side the microphone on this side and one mobile phone here one mobile phone here specs on another side as well and what you do is you set up everything so when you set up everything well then your commitment gets fruits it gets a result so connecting online is that thing for me uh, i would have been remained in that oblivion of uh, not knowing whom to tell what i was able to do because of my students or with whom to share that i have got questions about using a more advancement in technology and then came such events and such uh, mentors i would say who got me into the wagon of taking things to the global level be it in uzbekistan at amity university in tashkent or be it in india while i worked at amity uh, university noida campus or it was working at a school where i i started from the kindergarten till the senior secondary did uh, did jobs at colleges uh, small town universities i would say metro city universities started working on training of teachers or uh, started working on public sector sector social media worked with some libraries training people into social media maturity or something all this resulted because there was a consistent curiosity or uh, taking up the words from victor frankel existential frustration was there that um, this this is not enough technology is moving at a hyper speed so i should be matching it so while i talk about this and i bring this connecting online presentation to all of you uh, i will be following the ritual of uh, sh sharing and showing you these powerpoint presentation slides this slide deck will be there but i will take liberty to move on to the browser and coming back me uh, like sometimes in between or first i will be telling you a story i mean we all are storytellers we teachers uh, uh, have uh, i would say nothing uh, to to stop us so we all are stories actually so i shall try to be a good one in your life today 
and this is evening for me might be morning for you as well and or afternoon or late evening or maybe the late night i wish that when i take these 30 minutes sharing my journey or my case of being a teacher of using technology and trying to be uh, like uh, a student of uh, learning as well so coming up here now this is the topic that i have and i shall minimize this thing keeping in mind that everything is proper on the screen so while working at Amity University, Noida campus, which is the national capital region, the kind of Delhi campus, we can call it that way. So I started working there. That was my first higher education job. Then I, I had to leave for some other commitments, uh, like domestic ones. And then I finished them, then came back to Amity and got to join the Tashkan campus, which is Uzbekistan. And Uzbekistan is a Central Asia country, historically, uh, by culture. By the way, I would say, even if it is the movies or the films from India, Bollywood or anything, these two countries are quite connected. But when it comes to education, there's a big difference. India is at that stage where it provides workforce to countries like the US. I mean, IT people go from India and then reach there. So how that has become possible? We, of course, say that the post-independence India got IITs and they started with advanced courses. Now, again, private universities as well as the IITs and the government universities, everyone is working. But what has made it possible that uh, everyone is good at one place and other people are interested in another place? So it's, it's just a journey that one has moved, another person is also coming. So I... Uh, last year, I, I remember I was going through my uh, last year's slides of uh, connecting online. I, I wrote something, technology will change teachers and something. And I had also said, do not be fascinated by technology. And I wanted to copy that slide today and would have crossed it with two big black lines. Uh, do get fascinated by technology, dear friends. I mean, before COVID, I used to believe that do not be fascinated by technology. But the way technology has been managed and the way technology empowered us, it really means a lot. I mean, we have been able to keep education alive for these uh, two years, two, two and a half years maybe. If there was no ICT, if there was no online education introduced, just I would say there was a boom in online education in the previous decade, the second decade that way. So... What his what happened is that we could manage it, and it was this quick. I would say, uh, like it was March of that year when the lockdown started happening. So we were informed that from tomorrow classes will be online. So it was just this switch over. How? Because we all were getting exposed to it by, by our own wish, and such wishes create such events. Now here, of course, you know what is PBL, the project based learning. I shall wake up from my previous presentation, which also talked about education through social media. But that time we were just talking about a very small portion of it. Today, I am here to talk about my memoirs, my, I would say, experience of implementing something that uh, we worked on at global level in India. And then I have been able to implement it in Uzbekistan. So I wake up everyone with all of you for participative learning and project-based learning and educational podcasts are going to be my agent. But before I move, I would say here, I must introduce the journey which has been there for one decade. I shall be presenting to you a very short video of just five minutes. And when it will be playing, I'll be able to, I would say, uh, it will save me that time of not speaking, but these graphics designed only through Canva, again, an online platform. So I'll be presenting a short video, which will talk about education through social media journey in India, how it got started, how I was able to bring up students on board to use online resources because they had internet, they had smartphones, they had time, they had the subject that I was teaching. I'm a teacher of communication skills and English. So if you teach such a subject, I mean, one need not be good in literature. The actual goodness will be when that person sits in that information technology interview or the person sits in a, I would say, biochemistry interview or a MBA, I would say business management job. So my task was not to make them teachers of English or literature. My task was to make them good 
employable students so that they can be more expressive they can be empowered and they they should know what is happening so how all this became possible i'll be talking and when i talk about i would say that journey i would say this thing here elvin toffler uh, the trilogy of elvin toffler has been quoted by all of us many of us and uh, dr sharma knows that uh, very often this 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 book comes up and this book has got a very nice thing called over choice so over choice is uh, he predicted and like in the 1970s maybe he knew that uh, the future world is going to be burdened with so much to choose from but here i would say now when we people have got a challenge of making meaningful use of technology because technology changes the way we use it i mean i you can use uh, this pen as a paperweight or you can just use it as a screwdriver or something or you can use it just as a writing device or a weapon sometimes so we can begin our battle to prevent future shock at the most personal level so my talk is not about uh, a big tool it is just about me how i as a teacher was able to uh, develop how i was able to evolve into someone who got to know that there is unending potential in things that i am talking so again uh, one more mention to justify the need of uh, the presentation i mean waking up to participative and project based learning so my agenda is to justify to substantiate and to present the model of participative and project based learning which has been implemented at amity university in tashkent with the batches that i am teaching now there is one more thing that i would say it is just a personal thing i mean universities or the world right you talk about the united nations you talk about the national education policy they give scope to the institutions to provide or to facilitate this thing that the teachers can do something on their own so such things such movements they don't start as as a public or a mass movement changes they have to start i would say at the personal level so this thing where you have got a world a very tough world i won't call it bad but this day this 18th of february 2023 my dear friends it does remain this vuka world where we are facing a very volatile uncertain complex of course and ambiguous when i say complex uh chat gpt came and we just thought like we just said wow and in a couple of days we realized no this is not this is not exactly what is going to solve everything or this is not exactly what is what actually we would declare as that the final one or magnum opus that way so it's a very complex world uh, people cannot be trusted who make technology because they keep on developing things like one day they declare something good tomorrow they practice it they use it they will say no this is not working that way we need to improve it's all uncertain it's not just about earthquakes it's just about which device is going to shut down at what time volatile of course we all are prone to be like vulnerability as they call it ambiguity ambiguity doesn't mean double meaning it does mean that the meanings are still developing so we talk about this this is what uh, dr nelia was referring before i take everyone to the education through social media history my question when i was making this presentation was what teachers can do as change makers or as the agents and so where did i reach i reached at two places and these two things are place in on on a video on the same channel where at present this session is online and live so teachers now this one which is on this side like uh, uh, this this portion where the mouse is rolling connecting online 20 uh, i should aspire to now just think of me as someone in 2009 when i joined teaching or maybe just two or three years back i should aspire as a teacher as a case as a case in front of you as an individual i should aspire to connect for learning i mean i'm connecting here i should connect with teachers i should connect with resources second as a teacher i should be very ready i should be without any prejudice or any preoccupation or any doubt to practice what i preach 
this is not a philosophical thing this is something that if you are using just for example quizzes or you're using moodle like you're using moodle we all are on moodle at present do you yourself trust moodle or not if you say yes i do then i would say it means you are also able to uh, practice it that is that that is just one thing so this part you should inspire others. I have been inspired. I am just a very small product of the inspiration, which is billions of uh, times more than like me. Uh, it, like there are millions of people. There are hundreds of teachers, mentors who have inspired me. So I would say if I can be inspired, everyone can also be. Show kindness. Uh, show Marty, kindness is of course. It's yes. me. Can I have a, I have a board for a minute? Uh -huh. I'm the only one here with you, and this is the first time. I've been to every session so far. My name is Jeff Cooper. Do you know who I am? Yes, Jeff. Yes. Have, you, have you visited my website? I, I got to see, I would say, uh, the link also, the site, the site Google, which just came up. Well, take a, just go ahead and click that for a minute, and let me talk for a bit. And, uh, just okay. Done. On it. All right. Well, bottom line... You know the difference between language acquisition and language learning, correct? Do. Kindergartners, they can't read, they can't write, they can't even talk their own language. Speech mm -hmm. to text doesn't work all that great, but it's getting better every day. Text to speech, much better. Instant translation, another matter. Uh -huh. What I want to see is this site rebuilt with those features. And then mm. it's open source. I want to put it on every school district around the world for free. After mm. the first day of school like this. Okay, Jimmy or Wang Chung or Parving Sharma, little baby Parving. Or, you know, I don't care where you are, what your language is that you're speaking. Draw mm -hmm. a picture. Mm -hmm. Okay, now go play. Now come back. Now okay. talk to the computer and say what? Start a story. Day two of school. I hook you up with another kid around the world. You draw another picture, you continue your story in your language. They continue yes. it in theirs and they draw a picture. You've started a bilingual book from the first week of school. And this makes the whole process, I would say, actually usable anywhere so it creates an ease of learning i i, I would you. say but that's my whole yeah. this is my pipe dream this is my dream for life now obviously the system doesn't work yet i mean i'm right now focusing the rest of my life to getting this to happen mm -hmm. because all right let me back up to facebook what i call yeah. fake do you have a uh -huh. facebook account do i do have... all right do you use it I not often, but yeah, I do keep an account over there. Let me ask you this. I'm going to teach you a new word. Have you ever been to Zuckatraz? Do you know no. what Zuckatraz is? Take a no. guess. Listen to the uh -huh. word and I'm going to go grab a link. You can go ahead and talk to me while we talk about Zuckatraz. We will. So I would say that I'll I will i will uh I'll jump into I would say this enhancement of my learning once I I'm done with this presentation, which uh, I would say also takes us to the social media aspect that you just mentioned. Because, Except mine is global yeah. and and decent. Let me let me all right. Let me pop up Zuckatraz for you for a minute. Mm -hmm. One of the problems with bots is they can't handle context. And I've been in Zuckatraz. I got put in Zuckatraz because I talked about beating up my brother over mm -hmm. 50 years ago, and they said that was inciting violence. Now, if I asked a billion people, is that inciting violence to comment that I uh, that I beat up my brother? Nobody's mm -hmm. going to say yes, but the bots don't know. They, if I yes. were on tapped in help desk, I could see how, you know, I got people that would like break the rules and I'd boot them. Mm -hmm. right? I could try as a Facebook jail. Like I said, I got put in 30 days. Oh, I, also said, I thought I sent you a Facebook uh, a LinkedIn request, maybe I don't know. You could don't worry. About I, I'll it. be I'll be coming but, up. But since it's For just sure. you and me at this point, I mean, I just took a walk around the block, so I missed your first, and it's just you and me. So go yes. ahead, and I'm going to shut up and let you continue your presentation, and we'll go back and forth, and I'll let you. Ask yes, we will be. We will be. I would even love to like 
the moment we mentioned this podcasting thing, we the connecting online, the whole team can come up and make podcasts on such things which are, I would say, worth mentioning to people. Thank you. Well, thank you for you putting it up on your screen, man. Please yeah, upload yeah. me if you agree with it. I mean, thank you. That's what Facebook yes. jail is. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, I've so, coined a number of words. I'll uh, shut up. And you can go back to your present and we'll go. Yes. I so want to go to my presentation and I really look forward that uh, I'll also be getting your inputs on my work, the, pre the presentation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so everyone, I'll move on to it the is, education. Isn't it just you and me? Are there other people in here? I'm sorry. There are. There are. There are. Oh, shoot. I am yeah. so sorry. I'm going to mute yeah. myself. No problem. Yes. There are people. And uh, more than that, I would say, because these videos will be online. So we don't know to whom we'll reach. So that impact that we all think. I mean, a teacher doesn't know what impact he can make. Uh, um, like the same way. A human being doesn't know whom you impact. So this this one, this video I'm presenting to you, this one talks about education through social media in India. And then I'll, I'll quickly jump on to how it is being implemented in Uzbekistan. It means we are talking about a different category of countries where education is not that open. I mean, that liberal also, because English is very limited here. The students I'm teaching they do speak Russian, they do speak Uzbek, which is the primary language over here, but their English is, I would say, 30% of what uh, a normal person in India might be knowing or speaking. So the challenge that we are facing here, now, I, I can keep on talking about grammar rules, I can keep on teaching them parts of speech, tenses, syntax, sentence structure, definitions, or something, but what exactly we need to do because the generation does have smartphones and the generation that you and I are working for as teachers and we do have maybe one or two more decades to work before we retire or we stop regular teaching. This generation is very smart. Their knowledge of one language or one subject might be limited, but they're they they're very smart. So this, this is just a journey. Uh, I'm just taking these this, this double, I would say, couple of minutes uh, from you. I'll be muted and this video will have uh, its sound. audio yes so i hope this is visible uh, i guess uh, dr sharma can also see this when we discuss this uh, yes, yes. Sir, yes, uh, so this is the small thing like uh, when we presented it with the learning three to one model and the events as well education through social media this term we started using it in 2009 and 10 which is more than a decade ago i would say that time internet came quite easily to the metro cities and it was not uh, that easily available to the interiors of the country in India. 
but gradually it developed. So what I started at Amity University Noida campus, that we started blogs on Blogspot, which is a Google, I would say, platform, the blogger. And the every section, I mean, taking my subject, I was having 16 or 18 sections, uh, one class a week. So all the classes had their own blog blog of course kind of a semi website i would say and on that blog what they used to do was that they used to put up their assignments that helped me checking the flag i mean if you give me a printout i was never able to so i'll copy something put it in google google takes me there the search engine that this content came from here i tell the student the student says okay fine uh, professor i'll be editing it or i'll put up reference to this this part that i have taken so those blogs that started in 2009-10, they are still alive with thousands of visits on them. They became the OERs or the open educational resources because we never decided to put up advertisement on them and we never stopped them. Even after like a, a Bachelor of Technology student was there for four years, they completed the blog and they went. And this boy who's with this with this thumbs up in the first image, he is, if you ever get to like search socialmaharaj.com, S-O-C-I-A-L, social, Maharaj is the king or the emperor in India. That's the name, the, the meaning of it, M-A-H-A-R-A-J.com. He is one of the best bloggers in India now. And he was just a class, uh, I would say, representative managing the blog. So this was an impact which went to many people. Uh, I had students who who did blogging for me as assignments, and then they later went to Google, and then they were writing blogs over there. There have been people. So what happened on the blogs? I gave content. Students also gave content. Then we moved on to another thing. I mean, every semester things came up. The first semester, we just made blogs, and it was just copy-paste, copy-paste, like you are giving me a Word document. Put it there as well. Nothing else. I, I'm not asking anything. The second thing. We started podcasts, SoundCloud, if you remember, SoundCloud, the good old days, like if you can remember the floppy disk or you can remember the Walkman. So you can also remember SoundCloud, which was there for audio streaming. The iPod in 2004 brought a change into things. So podcasting started at SoundCloud. Students were asked to record their discussions, their introductions, they would uh, give their speeches on the topics that I gave and they will upload on SoundCloud and then we will be embedding them on the blog. So blog became uh, a kind of, uh, what do you call it, uh, the storehouse or one platform where everything came. Then we started uploading presentations on SlideShare, another one, author stream. That website was new at that time. Now, I guess the company is no more working, but we made PowerPoint presentations because my subject wanted it. So they made presentations and they uploaded it. And again, the same was embedded there. And then we moved on to digital presentations. Like I asked them to make video presentations. Students will stand up and record on, on, on the camera. So audio, text, uh, I would say slide share like visual, and then the videos as well. So within two or two and a half years, one class will have a blog with video, audio, presentations and text. So one place became their uh, place where they would put everything in and all the blogs were placed under the, I would say this uh, CC licenses or something like we, we never put it under that one C and then copyright. And these blogs have been able to get, uh, I would say with two lakh views and they have been live. So what happened was the digital literacy was the primary thing. I mean, I am someone, my dear friends, I am someone who goes to the class and tells the, st the students, put your mobile phone in front of me and I will not ask you to stop using it. If I'm good enough, you will not look at the phone. And I, I, I shout at them sometimes and say, use your phone for what thing you have like purchased it. They will look at me like, professor, you really mean this? I said, yes, I cannot fight the existence of technology. So I better give you options. We use Padlet, we record podcasts in the classes, we do quiz, we make presentations, we use Canva, we use Mentimeter. So when all these things can be done, so digital literacy will be, I would say, quite high and students will start listening. This was one part. And uh, if I if I come back to the slide deck where where this question is there from where we we joined uh, jeff as well i am driven by as uh, my my answer like uh, that i got 
what makes a teacher tick what makes a teacher rise what makes a teacher uh, i would say uh, successful in implementing technology what happened to me in india this is the result and this happened to be the exact set of things which actually is the result of implementing blogs podcasts youtube presentations digital presentations on youtube as well as visual or graphic presentations on slide share so all this this sum total that we did there came up and then the same model i have brought to tashkent and that experience of these four months i'm going to share with you curiosity never ending hunger passion for learning health you have to take care of yourself the physics how things work i mean reasoning logic has to be there uh, mental systems brain function and mind so all these things they do work for me as well as they work for uh, dr snelly 2022 this is what i presented and waking up to participative learning in pvl i am also waking up to this thing so my idea is everyone if i give you this idea today that connecting online and using podcasting in education what what should be what should be uh, i would say my uh, my pitch if i'm going to sell something to you so i'm presenting to you the things adopt as a teacher you first need to be part of technology you should not be someone who says i will be using a laptop in the office but i will not use it at home i don't believe in internet i don't believe in this but yeah i'm using it you know just to teach so no we need to believe in it when you accept it then the change happens the second thing that i would put start appreciating things and you know the capital letters have turned into small here so i would say appreciate this thing that has been done deliberately so take part in sharing the pride the the pride of work i would say that you have you should feel proud of it and if your students are doing something that that's a small thing i mean they do small things but you have to celebrate that also so the other thing that i would say after adopt and appreciate in this model is collaborate and go global so when i put up all these both these things together uh, make a strong collaboration at the local level i mean in my country with dr sharma we have been able to pioneer something i mean we have been able to launch certain things which have never been there uh, there is a thing called audio moocs pod moocs if you search this this on, on in the search engine now it has got lot of content there were days when um, we we coined this term and we started using this p o d m o o c like pod moocs that way so it it works like your local collaboration has to be very strong with your colleagues as well and do not wait just go global don't wait for 10 years like me or 7 years like me the moment you feel that you have got something uh, which deserves to be known to the world quick just bring it to as much many people as you can and like the connecting online 2023 or beat 2050 as well i love to present my work and to the world so that it keeps me updated so that if there is something which is obsolete if there is something which needs correction that can be done there and then and the last thing to put up bring variety and consistency don't stop blogging don't stop podcasting what happens is uh, i've been able to take in these many years maybe more than 10000 people have been trained into podcasting but very less people are consistent very less people are consistent and why they people are consistent or not consistent because you know you you get to know a technology like i learn moodle from all of you and then i don't use it it means i'm not consistent and i'm not bringing variety as well so these you know these gears which are moving in this presentation they are bringing a variety a change to the presentation so uh, friends this is about podcasting i'm not bringing this i would say as an explanation because who knows better than you what is podcasting because we do have uh, that thing so audio books i'm making audio conferences and interactions we are organizing we are launching audio courses and we are also creating oer the open educational resources we are creating and academic content we are bringing and we are also trying to do collaboration for this thing and when we are trying to expand all this this journey that i'm going to present to you i am first going to show you something here and let me take you to blogger so dear friends my screen is visible and i'm going to make it a bit large 
I hope now you will be able to see something here. This is the latest blog in Tashkent. This I'm going to present to you later. Now, with all time 5728 hits, I have got 120 or 130 students. How many? I would say uh, 120, 130 students. With them, putting up only academic content, I have been able to generate in three months, maybe not more than three months, it's less than three months that way, more than 5,000 or around 6,000 hits. And uh, we had around one month of uh, holidays. So that time we did not use the phone uh, or the internet that way. So let me show you something. Just have a look on this side. I'm going to open up how many blogs are visible here. You can see I have to scroll so much and anyone can type in the chat if you want me to open up a blog and you say like Praveen, click on this one we want to see. 9ME5, ninth section I would say or this semester, ninth section of semester five, Eduso Media blog. Another one, people who do the world's real work don't usually, usually wear ties. So that's civil engineers. 8MA4, career caution. That was again a blog for news. Chai chat. This was a personal one. Education through social media. See, all these are blogs. All these are blogs. These are the student blogs, the class blogs. Let me click here. This is opening. See, how many are there? If someone can type, the all time at present is 48,000. And of course, you can ask, this is not much. I would say, yes, friends, but we stopped posting after making 181 posts. I mean, I opened the posts and you see, we had a post in 2015. After that, you know, students have done with the course. So this remains there. So you see, we have got this much for 50,000. And then it's, it's still uh, going on. Like we still have last month 37, even if there is one person hitting it. So this is one. I'll open another one or I'll just have a look at the chat if someone wants to, me to open some blog. I'll show you uh, an interesting one, I would say. Okay, let's refrain from too many. Okay, fine. Yeah, uh, I'll go to this one. This has been a very fine blog with 190, 119 posts and I'll go to the posts. I will show you something. Like, see this one. This one, uh, this was a farewell message from the class to me when I, uh, when I, when I shifted out, and I made my students expressive. I made them say things what they wanted. They gave their messages. They did their assignments. They did everything. So when I'm talking about it, you see, we we were making. I'm opening 2013, and I'm not showing you slides. The reason is that you should see that things actually happened online. And th this is, this is, uh, this, this can be checked. This is one thing, like we can see it. So this is the first anniversary of our blog. See this, these are the class students. They're writing. Now, this is an assignment, social media advantages, facts about social media and something. Students are doing this. They, they, they are, they are putting up their contents. So social media and technical communication. So this is what is happening. Case study on Facebook was done by them on the blog. And this is Shalin Goyal from seven CSC four, seven semester CSC four that way. And uh, then they are just disadvantage, effective communication skills, job interview questions, and this and that they were doing. Now, coming again, I would say uh, to, to, to this thing. Mm, yes. Now, coming again back to the, the blogger platform, this one, I will just show you something, which is S-O-U-N-D, SoundCloud, S-O-U-N-D, Cloud, Eduso Media. I'm showing you something which is on SoundCloud. That time, students recorded something in those days, and then this is here and there are dedicated channels i'm just showing you one of them now if i this one everyone this is a podcast you see spoken english and broken english i have a dream i do you remember i have a dream who said this can someone name it as if i'm asking my students to do this i have a dream so this i have a dream is something which is like uh, 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 this one. 
So, yes. So I'll play this for you. Hello, I'm Anshika Chaturvedi from 5 CSE 7. My topic for podcast is the speech given by Martin Luther King Jr. at the March on Washington in the year 1963. Martin Luther King was an American actor. So we can appreciate that someone sitting in India was recording Martin Luther King. So this is what we were doing. And when we are talking about this thing, they were doing it there. Am I able to carry it to Uzbekistan or not? And I can I can bring something from just, just one more evidence, I would say. Uh, this is Edison Media presentation, or I would say digital presentation. Done. Let me see if something comes up. Ah, this these ones. My students got to see, like these are the presentations, everyone. See, this term, eight years ago, eight years ago, they people are giving their presentations. Like when they people are giving these presentations, I could see them gaining confidence. Very naive people who were not confident to speak in English or something. They were able to narrate complete stories. They were able to explain things on the whiteboard. All these things were happening. Now, coming back, like these are the blogs I have shown you. I can uh, bring up something like uh, slide share as well. On SlideShare, they did. We embedded things on the blogs. And what is happening now? Let me show you. This is the SlideShare that I use. And students also uh, put up things with me. And they also see things from my side. So whenever you're going to the class, do the best. And there's no one other than you who can do the best. I mean, uh, bring the best gift you can bring to the class. Bring the best you. So this is a, this is a slide, the first slide which happens to be here when I was teaching them phonetics or the international phonetic alphabet, bring the best gift you can bring to your class, bring the best you. And coming up, now these slides are going to be very interesting, everyone. So now we are moving on to a very, uh, I would say, uh, thing, uh, Uzbekistan, coming up. Now this is very interesting to show, uh, like uh, these few slides. They are going to attract us to something. So I, I loved uh, putting up content uh, like this. Edu podcasts, never ending. Of course, they are these. this content is never ending. But what I have to say here today when I'm talking to you, I'm talking about the journey of an Indian teacher moving to Uzbekistan with the ways of uh, India. Am I able to put up learning in a meaningful way in Amity University's land at Tashkent? So let us see whether I'm able to do that or not. These are the podcasts that I should briefly talk about. Uh, along with the personal podcast, which has got the personal photograph, we have Learning Radio Podcast working in Uzbekistan. Learning Radio Podcast. You can find it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. You can find it on Yandex Music, which is uh, primarily used in this region of the world. You can find it on Google Podcasts, Amazon Music and something. Then uh, there's one in India called Sahitya Radio. We put up literature over there. So so this is. And yes, it is It is quite nostalgic. And I would say uh, that to serve with love, because I know all of you are, um, I would say, mature and smart and uh, you have experience. You know, when I say to serve with love, the movie as well as the book, and they, when they write you a favorable message like this, it is nostalgic and it makes me more responsible. I mean, they have given me a legacy. My students have given me a legacy that I cannot stop working on this thing. I mean, say, hey, Praveen, just teach English. Why are you doing such things? I said, no, they did it when they were not supposed to do. They could have done their, their computer science. I mean, they were computer science people, mechanical engineering, civil engineering, and they were doing these things for me. So now I have got this responsibility. So that is one thing. And it is quite easy, I would say. Once you are into it, you are into it. I mean, for today's session, to make myself comfortable, I recorded a 35 minutes podcast in Hindi. I mean, a personal one. And then I placed it. So PodMooks, dear friends, it's on uh, again on web. This ETMA, Educational Technology and Management Academy, uh, Dr. Sharma has been a very senior member, a founder member of this. So I have been uh, part of it recently. The podcast team, I would say, which is Dr. Sharma and Praveen Kumar, that's me. So we are making podcasts for this Atma as well. And there's one, 
Uh, I'm not sure whether Dr. Gulia has joined or not, but I hope she is there uh, as well. No More Missing is one initiative by her, and uh, we have been able to join her as well and support in this noble cause of finding out uh, missing children and connecting them. So we are making podcasts for them as well and Japan Casting. Professor Steve McCarty, if you know him, he's a very tough man to break. I mean, tough man to break into means he won't give you permission to take his time easily. So it took me a couple of months persuading him and asking him, can I do podcasts with you? He'll, he won't give you time. He'll ask for two months or something because he keeps his time uh, to himself. But we made more than 18 podcasts with the uh, Professor McCarty and Japan Casting is one of the unique podcasts available on the web on the history of uh, Japan and the culture of Japan. So these things have been there. Uh, Podmooks in audio for 2023, friends. Uh, do it for explanations, interpretations. Do it for interaction and feedback. And someone has also picked up the idea of an audio conference. Yes, we, we organized a smaller one and we can make a complete bigger one. Uh, audio conference that way. Uh, assessment can also happen because uh, there was a reference to how English is being learned by people who are foreigners or not natives. So their assessment happens this way. You might be knowing uh, ELSA or you might be looking at uh, the speech to text, text to speech assessments or the eyelids bands or something. So then I, I, I see this thing as a possibility that a discussion forum, the, the very uh, participative discussion forum on Moodle that we all are writing into can also turn into an audio discussion forum. And then we are talking about pod MOOCs in audio. There can be, an, there can be uh, this, uh, what do you call, uh, a Moodle, complete Moodle training as, as that thing. So coming up, life is a journey, my dear friends, and I'll be bringing you to my journey here i'm opening all of you to ifs amity blog this is the blog and this blog has got podcasts and podcasts are uh, coming up learning the new way so i'm going to bring you to something like you can ask me to click any of them these are my notes this is a class blog everyone I have shown you the visits on it, but this is these are the class blogs and there are topics. These are the labels. I mean, I can go to this notes, International Foundation Study notes. So these are the notes, module and everything here. These are the notes. Suppose, just suppose I open this for you, short notes to revise. This is this. Click here to see the presentation. And the presentation comes here to the previous one. And this is what it is slide share. So this is an integrated one. But why don't I talk about podcasting here? Because we need to talk about podcasting. So here it is. Uzbekistan has got an 11, has got a 11 year. I mean, the, the system here is 11 years of schooling, one year of foundation, and then you get into graduation. So here, when we are doing it, I mean, at Amity, we are providing them a foundation course, which has got English, mathematics and information technology. My part is English to make them comfortable so that when they study the core subjects, they are good in English and they will be good in English when they see themselves. This is on Spotify. I can even jump to Spotify and then show you this. I mean, it is going to Spotify. So here it is. Learning Radio, episode number two. These are all the episodes. I can just play episode number one for you. It is the winter batch. We just started classes with them on the 1st of February. And this is 18. So this time, uh, I, I, would, I would put it to Dr. Sharma because he can authenticate it as well. I mean, he's my witness. I join here. It took me more than one month to do podcasting with the batch, the previous one. But when we did a winter intake, the classes started on 1st. And on 18th, I'm telling you that I have published their podcast on February 13. So it was just 12 days and I was able to make them confident that I can put up their voice online. Here it is coming up your way just to listen. The students, I mean, not me. I will forward what I speak. food and fruits and I can read 
more water and then one day I have jumped the river without knowing what place it is uh, and then my left leg got broken and then I have changed my running uh, yes uh, my dear friends this was I asked them to write something I, I said just I'm giving you 10 words I asked them write 10 words of your choice but all these 10 words should be from a particular theme or an idea they wrote then they were looking at me like this yes now I said make a story out of it or write a paragraph a personal experience but use these words they did I said now speak it they started doing it and I picked up put it on aeroplane mode and just asked them to record in it and that's how these episodes come that's all but that doesn't sound all we have got many students over here who will be working on the same story so thank you very much so everyone did you enjoy the story so we can clap for him we can you take your seat and we move on to the next boy who's sitting here and he might pause it and i now first and foremost i want to tell you the story uh, engrossing story about competition which was held in summer last year to be more one example moving on to the second one which takes us takes us to i would say another segment this is the latest batch which is there and i've got a complete playlist <clears throat> i'll copy it and will share with you this is with a non native speaker i mean the even the non native speakers can be divided in different categories india stands at a better position in it because we are not uh, native speakers of english but we did have like we did have british people uh, living with us and we we do have a very strong regular consistent interaction with the west but the central asia as you know hasn't been that open to the west so english has come just now i would say maybe in the last 3 4 years or 5 years things have come up that way so they need to be trained into such things and just one small thing about the connecting online vision that i understand is if we are talking about technology and the and and the positive use of technology uh successful use of technology dear friends that has to reach uh, the have nots i mean i do have everything i would say that way but we need to reach the have nots so the have nots can be uh, trapped by us in a positive way only when we bring such things to them so i will just bring you to uh, one very interesting thing that, thing that we did this preamble to the constitution of republic of uzbekistan on 8th of december when the constitution day was there i did this and the students recorded it they sent me their audios and then i edited generally accepted norms of the international law aspiring to a worthy life for the citizens of the republic setting forth the task of creating a humane and democratic law governed state aiming to ensure civil peace and national accord adopt in the person of their plenipotentiary representatives the present constitution of the republic of uzbekistan this one example now, uh, when we are talking about all this thing here, let me remind you, these are not at all native speakers. They have been away from English for decades. And when they people are speaking it, it is actually giving them confidence. So this is this is this is just one thing. And uh, coming back to to, I would say, the last part of my my presentation, the journey over here, how they people are working. The podcasting has given them confidence to speak up and these students are soon going to start with video presentations. I mean, I, I believe next time when I'll be talking to all of you, I will be having a chance to put up this thing that from Tashkin students have been able to provide video presentations and the case started with writing. They did blogging. They started working on a blog. It gave them the comfort. And after that, they started working on podcasting. They could hear their voice. And once you're confident about it, you correct yourself and then you come on the camera. And then the people are going to, I would say, shake and rock the world. So this is from my side. And this is like short stories as um, like there was when, when we had uh, that participation by Dr. Jeff and it was talking about stories stories they write stories in the class as a creative writing assignment and this is what they do you write you record 
then you send it to me and they send it to me. I do get a lot of work to do. I mean, keep on using the software and edit it, but I love to do it, spend time for them, which is their time. So you make this, send them the link. They feel happy. And that, that is uh, what I would say is, uh, it's 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 all about that thing so this is uh, what i had to share limited though but i'm presenting to all of you this thing learning radio which is having podcasts by students of uzbekistan within these three months and the journey in india had been very uh, satisfactory but let me see what i can do i'll keep you posted on the moodle as well with all the links of this and now if there is any discussion or that we can have or question answers we can have, I'll be very happy to answer. If there is any doubt or I have missed up any step or any standard operating procedure that you can ask me, like, did I do that thing to reach here or not? Yes. And Dr. Sharma can also add up something so that we can take it to a conclusion. Sir. I'm sorry. We'll have to do the conclusion in we can. the Moodle conference area. and. Um, continue the discussions by text yes. and audio because audio is there too. So you can grab a mic in yes. the um, editor on Moodle and speak for, um, I think about an hour. So yes. We can <laughs> um, keep everybody is yeah. welcome to speak up actually more than an hour. There are two, um, mm. two microphones. One is limited to an hour. Another one is unlimited. So looking forward to hearing everyone and uh, listening as well as uh, reading your text. And we're gonna go on. So I wanna thank you once again for doing an amazing job.